Yeah, man, yo, I've been smoking crack for about 32 to 45 years or something, you know, it's all I like to do. And, um, so right now you're just gonna do that on camera? You, like, you have no problem? Uh, you know, hey, you know, I just wanna, you know, get to your story, your background, man, you know? Yeah, man. You know, I know I agree for y'all to come record me, uh, but I really wasn't thinking. Are, are you putting this out? Um, yeah. Are, we're the, put are the people going to see this documentary? Yeah, the whole world's going to see this. You know, I don't really, uh, I don't think I really want everyone to know I'm, uh, I smoke crack. This is how we told you we were going to put it out, you know? Yeah. I know if my sister Lindsay sees this, it, it just, it'll break her heart, you know, man. I mean, come on, dude. Have, I mean, come on, man. Have a heart. Just think about that, man. Could you kind of edit that part out? I'm sure. You know, we'll put a little blur, okay? You questions you Do that to, okay? You just kind of, you know, put that part out of uh, me smoking it, man, you know? Okay. So, Rocco, tell me, how did you get started what, on crack? What was that you said, uh... How did I get started on crack? Uh, well, I mean, actually, uh, I was uh, with a friend of mine, and um, we were, you know, smoking weed. Well, at least I thought I was smoking weed, you know. Uh, and that's why, uh, you know, I try to tell you know, these kids, you know, uh, if, you didn't, if you didn't roll it, then don't smoke it, you know. So, uh, this guy that I thought was a friend of mine, his name is, uh, Trevor Cobbins, you know, uh, he's deceased now, you know, he OD'd, but, uh, he, uh, you know, had me under the impression that we were smoking weed, you know, straight weed, but he had, uh, crushed up the crack cocaine and put it in the, you know, in the blunt and, uh, uh, that 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 day changed my life, you know. Uh, I hit that shit, and it's just like wow, you know, wow, like bells and fireworks going off in my head, and I just wanted that feeling ever since then. And I mean, I am literally chasing them uh, bells and fireworks, but. I never got it, you know. I keep telling myself, you know, maybe, you know, maybe, but uh, I don't know, man. So how's it been how you living on the street, man? How is oh, it? You know? Well, I mean, uh, you know, I know, it, well, I'm homeless, but I'm not homeless, you know. I hang out here and just, you know, I try to fly my sign, you know, uh, you know, just to get by. But I have a, a roommate, you know, and I stay with her. She's got a Section 8 thing going on, you know. And, uh, she, you know, she's got her two kids, you know. So, does she do drugs also? Like, or, oh, you know, uh, what's that deal, you know? Yeah, she, she does. She's a struggling addict, too. Uh, I mean, uh, she, she, she smokes crack, but she also likes to, uh, shoot heroin you know yeah she shoots heroin and you know i always try to tell her you need to stop you you need to try to slow it down you know she's got two kids you know a boy and a girl man and uh you know the girl is five years old and the little boy is 10 years old but i mean you know he looks out for his sister man he really takes care of her and he takes care of his mother too you know yeah man little james is just he's He's going to be something else. I just hope, uh, you know, what's going on with his mom doesn't affect him too bad, you know, because uh, my childhood is what really affected me, too, you know. It was the reason why I was smoking the weed, you know. I literally remember my dad, you know, punching my mom in the face, you know, and my mom looking so helpless and defenseless, you know, and... uh I remember that as, as a kid, and uh, I remember when I finally got older, and my dad was trying to kick my mom's ass again, and 
my mama was tired and she hit him over the head with a beer bottle, you know, and uh, he, he, he was trying to kill her. And I remember I was of age, at least about 11 or, you know, maybe 11 or so. And I ran up to him and I mean, I ran up to him in a rage, man. I mean, you know, I really think he could see it in my face, you know, that I will kill you, you know. At, uh, I was like, you know, I couldn't see it anymore, man. I love my mom more than anything in the world, man, you know. And I just, no, I couldn't see that anymore. You're like, you were not going to hurt my mom, okay? And I, I let him know. I said, I will kill you. And, uh, you know, he uh, looked at me and he kind of calmed down. And, uh, you know, later on he said, uh, yeah, my boy, you know. My dad was a drunk, a crack addict, a heroin addict, a ecstasy addict, a weed head, a fucking Roxy, a whatever, you know, he, he done it all, man, you know, uh, but uh, yeah, rest in peace to him, you know, yeah, rest in peace to him, man, uh, you know, uh, hey, Brad has been cool hanging out with you, you know, uh, yeah, I want to help you with your documentary, but, uh, you know, I gotta go, man, I'm kinda, I need some more crack, man, I'm gone, okay, thank you, man. This was the Brad Bradshaw Show, hey.